Ryan Daniel Moran asks, what were the best books you read this past year? Who let you submit a question? You're an inanimate object. How did you type? Actually, I just wanted to talk about this today. Best books of the year. I have a tie for best book of the year and I'm gonna give you one that I think you should get for 2017 as well. First, if I had to pick a winner, I'm gonna go with Neil Strauss's The Truth. What, uh, Neil Strauss has to be the greatest living author. Uh, the, the Truth was, by the way, it has nothing to do with business or entrepreneurship. The tagline is an, an uncomfortable truth about relationships. Neil, slam dunk, 10 out of 10, maybe the best book I have ever read. Entertaining, educational, made me think, made me question my past. I, I have journaled about this book many times, just analyzing my own patterns and behaviors and how my upbringing affects the decisions that I make now and how it affects my relationships. Slam dunk. Uh, it is not for the uh, easily offended, I suppose, but if, uh, if that doesn't bother you, I would say The Truth by Neil Strauss was maybe the best book I have ever read in terms of entertainment value and combination of stretching my thinking and, and forcing me to, to, to look inside myself and analyze my own patterns and behaviors. And I would say the book made me a better person as well as being one of the most fun reads I have ever had in my life. Uh, I think especially every man on the planet needs to read the truth by Neil Strauss. Awesome job, Neil. Uh, my second pick of the year, uh, I think I'm late to the party on this one. I don't know when it was published, but the four agreements hit me particularly well in 2016. Uh, the reason, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous to, to talk about this on video, but I listened to part of the four agreements audiobook while I was on mushrooms. So if you have, just found this video and you don't know the context to that, that comes across a little bit weird. Um, I, the short story is I'm filming a documentary. I've talked about this publicly on the podcast about uh, my journey in and out of religion and different religious views. And we're recording a documentary on that right now. Part of that being uh, experimentation with psychedelics. And it just so happened that I heard part of the audiobook of the four agreements while I was on mushrooms and it resonated with me very, very deeply during that time. And going back and listening to that when I was not on mushrooms, uh, it still resonated very, very loudly. And I'm sure there's a correlation there, uh, you know, a connection between the experience. But uh, there, I would say, if for nothing else, listening to the opening chapter or reading the opening chapter of the four agreements, I've never heard kind of a worldview, um, you know, of the, of the way we perceive and the way we create our own world was, uh, it resonated with me in a way of, that is how I think the world works. At least that's my opinion today. So I give a second place uh, award to the four agreements. I'm gonna give you one book that I think you should grab going into 2017. I received an advanced copy of Rebirth by Kamal Ravikant, and I would highly suggest that you go grab Rebirth by Kamal. Um, if you're watching this before the end of the year, you can pre-order it. Highly recommended that you read this. This is a fiction book that has, I guess, non-fiction application to it. So uh, as entrepreneurs, we read mostly non-fiction if you're like me. And it, this was a nice break of reading a, a fiction novel, but still having just as many takeaways from this because it, Kamal weaves in lessons from life into the novel. So there's just as many takeaways from this fiction work as you would normally have from you know, a really good piece of nonfiction. So it's entertaining and you have major takeaways just like you'd have from something you'd be reading to improve yourself. So I say put Rebirth by Kamal Ravikant on your must read list for 2017.